morning, OJ. Sam, don't you mean OJR? No. OJ. <laughs> Last week, on October 29th, the ONJ Roberts Annual REA Safe Trick or Treat Night took place. Students and staff gathered at the high school dressed in their best costumes to help support families in need. We sent out our truly terrifying reporter, Ben Knox, to get the scoop. Hello, my name is Ben Knox, and I'm here to talk to Mrs. Susadale about the REA Safe Trick or Treat Night. So what is the REA Safe Trick or Treat Night, and why was it started? Um, the event's for the OJR community, and it brings together students from kindergarten all the way through 12th grade and their families from across the district. Um, Trick-or-treating can be tough in our district because there's some more rural areas and sometimes there's some safety issues with that. How many kids and families participated in this? We had a huge turnout this year. We had almost uh, 1,200 kids uh, and uh, almost 800 parents, and there were over 100 volunteers here t for the kids as they were going around trick-or-treating. How much canned food was collected during this? Uh, we collected uh, 52 full boxes of uh, canned goods, dried goods, personal care products, and paper products. Uh, we also collected over $175 in cash donations. Who did the canned food benefit? Um, it, all of the canned food goes to the Coventry Food Pantry, which supports over 120 families throughout the Owen J. Roberts School District. Thanks, Mrs. Susadale, for talking to me about the REA Safe Trick or Treat Night. My name is Ben Knox, knocking through walls to find the truth. Thanks, Ben. I guess you're not so scary after all. Wednesday, November 11th, OGR will be holding the 10th Annual Veterans Day Ceremony and Luncheon. All veterans are invited to the high school for a ceremony in honor of our servicemen and women starting at 11.45 a.m. in the auditorium with the luncheon to follow. Make sure you thank these veterans for their service when you see them in the hallways. Give back to those in need this month with Anchor Club. The club is donating gently worn shoes to the homeless by partnering with In Ian's Boots, a nonprofit organization whose goal is to spread faith and charity to those in need. Anchor Club is asking students and faculty to help donate to this cause by providing a special public service announcement here on The Paul Report by Gabby Megney. Ian was just a, a real happy kid growing up. Uh, he was involved in a lot of things. He, uh, he played Coventry soccer and his school, Westmont Christian. Uh, a couple months before he died, he made the Olympic Development Program. Great sense of humor, always ready with a joke, always had a smile on, even when he was in trouble. Last run of the night, he was just walking up with his scoutmaster, and then he decided to go down the ski slope in one of those plastic saucers that you can't steer, and uh, just slam right, right onto a ski lift tower. And he was pretty much gone there. The emergency room doctors, when they were looking at him, found this piece of paper folded up in his, in his snow boot. And it was a Bible verse, it was James 1, 2-4, to that talks about uh, consider pure joy when you face trials of many kinds, because facing tra trials builds perseverance, perseverance builds maturity in all things. Over 300 million people in the world do not have a pair of shoes. It is important that these people receive shoes in order to reduce trauma and parasitic diseases that enter the bare foot. Spread the good news of Ian's faith by providing gently worn shoes and winter boots to those in need. Drop off your donated shoes to any of the boxes around the school provided by the Anchor Club. Please make sure to donate. We all know you only watch the Paw Report for the weather reports, so the wait is over. Let's go to Sam Fisher and see what he has come up with this week. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sam Fisher, and welcome to the weather report. I have here with me today some water to find out whether or not it's going to rain this weekend. Well water, is it going to rain this weekend? Yes, absolutely. Every day, all day long. Oh, that sounds terrible. Well, let's take a look at the uh, temperatures for this weekend as well. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Hey, wait a minute. There's only going to be a 10% chance of rain this weekend. Well, Jar, if there's one thing you can learn from this, it's that water is a dirty liar. Have a dry weekend. 
Sam, it's nice that we can actually see you this week. Not really. I'm only here for the orange juice. Have a good weekend, OJR. I hate orange juice.